Okay, this is going to be our scene on cyclosporin. Cyclosporin is an immunosuppressant, and it is specifically a calcineurin inhibitor, which we'll talk about. But just to remind ourselves, in our pharmacology videos, our first room is going to be for method of action, our second room is going to be for clinical use, and our third room is going to be for adverse effects. So let's begin. So here we have cyclosporin, and it's going to be represented by this guy who cycles on his sports car. He doesn't actually go on the cycle, he goes in his sports car on the cycle. He cycles on his sports car for cyclosporin. And over here he's going on top of the screen over here with CNN on it. So cyclosporin inhibits calcineurin. It inhibits CNN, calcineurin. Calcineurin is really important for IL-2 transcription. IL-2 transcription, of course, is important for T-cell activation. So cyclosporin, in effect, blocks T-cell activation. And we can remember this IL-2 transcription because we have these shoes over here, these I-2 shoe. I-2, there are two I's over here with the shoes. I-2 shoe for IL-2. IL-2 transcription. So again, cyclosporin is important for inhibiting calcineurin, which prevents IL-2 transcription, which leads to blockage of T-cell activation. This is not on the scene, but just more specifically, cyclosporin combines with cyclophilin, and together they inhibit calcineurin. Calcineurin is important for dephosphorylation of NFATP to NFAT, NFATP being nuclear factor activated T cells with phosphate. It is that dephosphorylation which leads to the IL-2 transcription. So inhibiting calcineurin prevents the dephosphorylation and thus prevents the IL-2 transcription. Okay, we got up to our next room where we discuss clinical use. So here we have these two guys in the back of the room and they're staring at the cycling sports car. Let's take a look at these two guys. So this guy is the Sir Rice guy. He's basically just rice. That's all he is, just rice. Sir Rice for psoriasis. And this guy is basically just a room with an art palette over here. Room for rheumatoid and art for arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. Cyclosporin is often given for psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, now let's talk about toxicity and adverse effects. So we have a lot of them over here. Let's take a look. So the first thing we note over here is this nephron here that's exploding. This one is really important. Nephrotoxicity is a really bad adverse reaction in, to cyclosporin. We also have the blood pressure cuff over here, which is often represents high blood pressure or hypertension in our videos. We have this unwanted hair over here for hirsutism, which is a side effect of cyclosporin. We have these lips over here that's very hyper, the hyper lips for hyperlipidemia. And we have the gums over here coming out of the back of the lips over here to help us remember the gingival hyperplasia. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for our next video in pharmacology.